if you'll notice, there's been lots of changes. Look at this face. You see these cracks right here? Look at this shit. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, listen to you. I blame it on having two bear runs. <laughs> there's more uh, gray, there's more wrinkles. It's just like well, old. I was going to say, in the four years that I had to to a year I was in, like, what an area, what in Pittsburgh. Um, I can't say that it gave me gray hair. I mean, yeah. No one's going to let me get away if I claim that's where my gray came from, so. <laughs> <laughs> that's not going to work for me. Nice. Oops, okay. Yeah, it's not working on my laptop. I give up. Okay. okay. We'll just do it this way. Okay. And I think if you know if you need to like take a call or whatever, just that mute button is your friend. <laughs> That's what I always tell myself. The mute button. Yes. This little button down here next to the. Yeah, the one that has the like the speaker. The yeah, yeah. Yeah. The one if underneath you just... Gary's. Face. Yeah. There you go. I don't care where it is, above me, below me, on me, baby, just whatever works for you. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it's not I'm the first have... time he said that. <laughs> you take that back. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, all right. All right. I think it means we're all ready to begin. Yes. <laughs> Move it to this. Remember my things. I'm gonna move this over here. Do this. Okay. <sighs> uh, what did Raymond say? Mm. He's still driving. Good Lord Jesus, where's he driving to? Home, apparently, from St. Louis. Oh, no. Girl, it's a five-hour drive. He was driving five hours ago when I was talking to him. And we lost your video. Maybe. Maybe he stopped. I'm back, sorry. Okay. There you go. All right. Let me see if I can do this with the new setup. All right, and three, two. Sunday, August 5th, 2017, or 2018. Uh, Jeff. Who's your bear? That's right. I am your bear. I'm Damon. I don't brew the tea. I just serve it. And that makes me Gary. Don't hurt nobody with your bad self. And welcome to Comes Out Loud, the Bear Podcast. It is returning like episode number 474. And we have a guest with us. It's Adam from World Bear Weekend. Woo! <laughs> he stepped away for a moment, but he'll be back. Don't worry. He's all oh. It's fine. It's all fine. <laughs> While we're waiting on him, why am I keep, keep uh, doing jazz hands for Adam? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Let's go right into this. So I, I I just had two interviews this week. Not for the same place, but two different interviews for two different places. One of them was surprisingly out of location that I used to work at. Soccer. Which was kind of awkward. 
uh, to say the least. So, and it's and then it kind of made me. By the way, there's Adam. He's back. I'm oh, back. Sorry, I had a phone call. Yeah, we. So yeah, Adam may like jump in and out for various reasons. So excuse me, guys. But we're we're just telling what's going on here. And I had two interviews. One at a location I used to work at, with, which was kind of awkward. One which I've kind of decided that's the place I really want to work. However, I believe it pays less than. Ah. Uh. I kind of like. If you ain't working, because one of the jobs, I don't have to talk to people. Or at least that's what it sounds like. The other one, I talk to, talk to people. But it might be more of... It might be something that I might be more interested in. Or might be okay with. It is tech support, which I kind of really don't want to be doing. But it's a job, and it might be at a place that I really, really want to work at. So, <laughs> out of... For reasons, I'm keeping the companies confidential and what those jobs entail, but um, we'll see what happens. Yeah. Um, I was just over this past week. I haven't heard anything from either one yet, but hopefully this week I will, and then hopefully one of the jobs I'll be able to accept, and uh, then it's just convincing uh, unemployment that I am still looking for a job until they actually start, because... I found out in a previous time of working at unemployment, I have to continue job searching until I start. <laughs> so, yeah. uh, other than that, it's all been about uh, watching and playing Pokemon. Sweet. Demon? So I titled this The Best of Intentions, and to put it simply, I had all these intentions of doing stuff this weekend that I ended up not doing. Um, I got my hair cut, yay, that's a positive, um, that was on Saturday, went to brunch, came home, and the intention was to try to do some work for work, um, and I ended up not doing that. And unfortunately, that happened because I fell asleep. I took a nap, and in falling asleep and taking a nap, uh, I woke up and it was weirdly like that time when it just didn't seem like a good idea to start trying to start working. Um, so I didn't. And I was like, "Oh, I'll do it today." Well, um, Jim and I got up a little later than um, I think we were expecting, and we went to go. Um, get tickets for a show that I'm going to be seeing in the future, and then we went to brunch, and then we came back, and by the time we got back, it was 3, 4 o'clock in the afternoon, and it just seemed like, why even bother? <laughs> so, my intention was to be work today, but I didn't get to do it, so, oh well. What can you do? Gary? Yeah. Um, I'm going to talk about it real quick. Just so everybody knows, we have to do updates and we're trying to figure out the new Skype configuration, so I apologize because it appears we've got uh, feedback coming in on the line, so we're trying to figure out what that is. Uh, that being said, uh, I might have something coming up on the horizon in terms of like a job thing, so um, a posting I've been waiting for finally posted. So uh, I'm in the midst of getting uh, several different things of clearance before I even can apply. So oh yeah. god, that's fun and exciting. Yeah, short and, and simple. simple. Keep it sweet. Yeah. Thanks. Adam, how about you? I'm good. Doing good. <laughs> <laughs> so not much going on. Cool. Uh, so before we actually get in and discuss what we have, we do like to quickly do at the top of the show there's plenty of ways you can support Comes Out Loud. And a couple of those way ways is uh, through um, buying something on our uh, Zazzle store at zazzle.com slash Comes Out Loud. Uh, I'm wearing one of the regular V3 t-shirts. Uh, in this case, a sleeveless version. And Damon, I believe you're wearing the an orange one. No, quite, uh, the... Maroon cranberry 
dark, dark, whatever. I forget the color. Um, and it's more of a darker, maroony, red color. Burgundy. Yeah. I like it. That store is right here. And don't forget, we've got things such as uh, our Bear Run definition shirts, the Now That You're Sticky, Here's Your Cookie shirts, all in the Smashy collection. Oh, by the way, latest product sold? A Cubs Out Loud suit mug? Huh. I wonder who bought one of those. <laughs> and many, many more. <laughs> we also have chili bowls, can openers, etc. So. And if you ever feel like you want something else, you can always browse the create your own section and see if there's anything that looks like a product that you would like with the CFO logo and just shoot us a message for that. Alternative leak, you can also subscribe to us on Patreon where, yes, I am 15 years in love. I am so organized. Um, uh, here you can become one of our be part of the entourage, be buddy at Uber or Cubster and uh, I believe some of the more for that should be going out soon, Gary? Uh, this month we're working on something. They may not actually ship until September, but yeah. yeah. So they're coming. So so we, something's so coming. coming. If we get up to $100 a month, we will unlock the random raffle where we literally roll the dice for a random person gets a random product uh, from any of the Patreons, uh, obviously within limits of what those products are, but... Um, because we don't want to break our budget with all of that. So, and thank you for all the patrons that we, we just got paid this past week. So, we thank you for that. And that is the ways you can support us. So, yeah. So, Gary. Yes. What are we talking about today? It doesn't look like we have any feedback. Uh, yeah, just give the feedback to get to our guests, uh, catch everybody up. So, we're gonna talk about World Bear Weekend, and Adam, uh, step away for a moment and to explain why we're delayed until late, late night show. So, we were gonna have two guests on. Um, Adam is available, but Adam is unfortunately got called to work, <laughs> so we're doing this like kind of live remote shoot kind of thing. We're trying to figure it out at the same time. Yay! But uh, over the past couple of weeks, we've been having discussions about body positivity, accepting compliments, um, how you know we view things uh, changing, and so in terms of all along those lines, uh, we made reference I think last week's show about World Bear Weekend coming up, and I thought, well, why don't we see if we can get to have Adam on? He's the front coordinator for this new thing that's come up. So that's why we are doing tonight's show. And Adam, unfortunately, uh, had a delay before he could uh, join us. And then we you know, came home to work. So we're, we're still making it happen, which is why uh, he's not on camp at the moment because he's going to take care of something with customers. Uh, I'm also trying to help us figure out what the story is with the. Um, I, I uh, think right now it's just hearing background noise on um, Adam's end. Ah, it just makes, makes sense. sense. Yeah. yeah. But, but I think anyway, way. So, so I, I guess, guess we could really, really briefly really kind of introduce Adam. Adam. I, think I think those that don't um, know, know him, him, he is the he's the producer of World Bear Weekend, correct? Right? Yeah, he's the he's, he's the, the original, original like concept yeah. creator in terms of that. But um, he also helps run through uh, the group name just left my head. Kentucky Bourbon Bears. Thank you, Kentucky Bourbon Bears. Woo. Um, Lord have mercy. Um, Kentucky Bourbon Bears, the North American Bear Weekend. Yay. Which I think some of us have been to a few times over the years. Yeah. So, Adam in particular. Oh, look who's back. Look who's back. Oh, my goodness. Speak of the devil. 
<laughs> so Adam uh, Rodriguez Route, who is our special guest tonight, uh, is the owner producer. He's sometimes referred to as the spark of energy behind WBW. Um, I'm reading your bio, so get ready, girl. Uh, <laughs> Actively, I put that in there. <laughs> mm-hmm. Actively involved with the Bear community, passionate about fundraising and doing things for the LGBT community. Uh, aside from WW, he's the current vice president of KBB, which is the Kentucky Bourbon Bears. Who? Uh, what? You're now the president? I know. I graduated up. You, you got a promotion? I did. All right. You are still also the chairman of North American Bear Weekend, correct? Yeah. All right, and the owner of Torso Menswear, which is an online store catering events, underwear, jocks, swimwear, and uh, some perverbatives. Perverbatives? Perverbatives. I made up a new word. I just call them accessories, but whatever. So, uh, are you ready to get into this, Adam? Let's do this. All right, so... I apologize up front if I have to step away just for a second, but I will... Tell, Tell the customers to hold on. I'm kidding. <laughs> and I've got to step away just for a second. <laughs> <laughs> well, while he's doing that, um, Jeff is showing us um, some of the torso of our site. So. Oh, no, he's showing you guys. So. Yeah. Uh, I go into oh. 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 Uh, well, I don't think I can actually put this onto YouTube necessarily. Uh, that's true. <laughs> that might be. But we could probably at least tell people what the website is, correct? Uh, menswear.com. Yeah. Thunderwear. Thank you, Chuck. That's the word that I always think about when I think about um, um, for the stuff that is out there. It's not just regular. It's not just regular underwear. This is thunderwear. Sorry about that. We, we were, were busy, busy looking, looking at your men's uh, torso, torso menswear website, website while you were gone. Oh, good, good. See, I got, I, you could if you you can see my shared screen because of the way we have to sh- in order for me to share sounds. Uh huh. Um, I'm showing the product lines. Unfortunately, only we can see it because it's like not necessarily appropriate for YouTube. So. Ah. Uh-huh. I see you do Very. carry uh, bear skin. Oh yeah, yeah, I've got tons of bear skin. I've got actually more stuff. I just need to get busy and up, update the website. But I like to sleep for a few hours a day. Yeah. So you do keep kitty busy, don't you, Mr. Adam? Yeah, I do. And just so you know, Adam Sprinkle Bear is in the live chat right now. So. Oh, <laughs> Sprinkle Bear is being shady and said, Adam has seen lots of naked men. <clears throat> oh, yeah. I shared some pictures from this weekend at Kimberfell. <laughs> Yeah, it is fun. Imagine nice. having a clothing business going to a clothing optional men's campground. Well, when they leave the campground, it might be nice to... Exactly. Have... You know, I, I was a little fearful. I was like, oh, this is not going to be good, but it's good. So, good. Yeah. All right, so Adam, you are excited, you are excited, ecstatic, exuberant. All the all the ex ex is there, yeah. Yeah, yeah, for World, World Bear, Bear Weekend. Weekend. Uh, it's, away. it's the first of its kind, yes? yes? It is, it is. Okay. Um, why? I don't mean to ask such a broad question, question, but like for, for those that, that haven't ever heard of it or don't know about it, that's kind of why we want to have you on. Well, um, I created World Bear to do something a little different that really isn't being done in the bear community. Mm-hmm. Um. I mean, it's being done, but I want to take it up to the next level. Uh, Mm -hmm. Most of the bear contests and events that you go to are men only. Um, There's been a lot of, I guess, a lot of controversy about allowing women at bear events. Uh, But several of us within the Kentucky Bourbon Bears, uh, which, you know, we're responsible for North American bear, realize that uh, there's just as many great mama bears out there as there are papa bears. Mm-hmm. And these ladies um, do a lot for the community. So um, I wanted to do something kind of next step up for like events like the Klondikes that have their uh, kind of reverse um, bear contest, if you will, <laughs> to get that next level, next step title. 
So World Bear Weekend, it, it will have some similarities to other events that you go to, like NAB. Um, you know, I'm still going to have the the pool parties and the dance parties and the vendors and the workshops and all that stuff. But uh, you're going to see a lot of differences too. There there will be all the workshops will be open to women. Uh, the contest is open to women as well. We've got three amazing ladies running for the world Ms. World Bear uh, title, and mm-hmm. also we uh, are doing a non, um, I guess non-gender specified cub title. So it's a gender neutral cub title. It can be male or female that can win cub. So oh. I do have a trans male that is competing for cub. And we've got three women, and let's see, ten men. Sweet. So, <clears throat> yeah, that's, that's kind of what I was going for. With with North American Bear Weekend, it's been, I don't say it's been negative or any pushback, but it's the direction of the club at the time right now to uh, keep it a men only in the contest okay. uh, portion. Uh, so it's it's something that I kind of wanted to branch out and do, um, and I also wanted to set the stage for the Kentucky Bourbon Bears. Uh, we get a lot of requests each year to do like a late summer, early fall event because people like Lexington; they just hate that it's twenty below zero. In uh, February, yeah. <laughs> They're like, we would love it if you guys move this event. And I'm like, well, we don't want to move it because it's a great time to get folks in. Uh, first of the year, straight out of the bat, um, when they've been imprisoned in their homes through the wintertime. So I, what I wanted to kind of do is let's start this, see how it goes, and if I can prove to Lexington community that, hey, we can do a second event in the fall, then I'll probably hand over this slot uh, to the Kentucky Bourbon Bears and take uh, World Bear Weekend. Uh, kind of bounce around the different cities. Okay, so that's is the intent for World Bear to kind of move around? Definitely, yeah. Uh, this will be the first and last year for Lexington, Kentucky. Next year we'll be in a different city. Um, I'm in the contracting phase now. Um, just about got that wrapped up, and it'll be announced at World Bear Weekend this year on Saturday where it will be held next year, and you can do pre-registrations on Sunday. Sweet. Yeah. That's some nice kind of, you know, so that, I mean, no, don't get me wrong. Um, I like that when some, when bear events are like stay in the same place. I was going to say stagnant, but I don't, I don't want to use that word. Um, like stay in the same place and they're there every year and you kind of, kind of get used to it. But uh, an event that kind of moves around gets, I think, more interest, you know, and more like, like, some, Some people, people can't, can't come, come, you know, they, they can't, can't make it that year. So, so oh, well, it's now closer. My hope is to keep it fresh uh, each year with a different location, uh, kind of different excursions and outings. Uh, I will say I am, like, ecstatically excited about next year already. <laughs> uh, some of the stuff that we've got planned, I think everybody will love it. Uh, you're going to love the hotel, and it's going to be really nice. Um, so we're looking forward to it. And I guess you're answering sort of the second question, why in Lexington is, I guess it's more close, kind of close to home and kind of to give a feel yeah, for Yeah, yeah. Well, the reason I chose Lexington this year is, of course, I live one mile from the host hotel. So <laughs> starting, you know, starting this new event, I wanted to kind of keep my hands closely wrapped around it uh, where I can make sure everything goes according to plan. Mm-hmm. Uh, Gary knows me. Uh, me and him share a little bit of the uh, similarities of being control freaks. I don't want to use freak. I I know nothing of what you're speaking of. You are on, you are walking that pirate plank all by yourself there. (laughs) No, I just wanted to keep it local this year where I can kind of keep an eye on it and make sure it goes well. And also it's to uh, kind of reinforce the fact with Kentucky Bourbon Bears that, hey, we might be able to do this as a second event to uh, draw more uh, people to Lexington, Kentucky, and raise money for our charities as well. Yeah. 
So, so for, for the first, first year, Lexington. Lexington. Next year is, is a question, question mark because you got to get you got to get this one under your belt <laughs> before you, you know what you're going to do come next. Then next year is going to happen. Um, it will happen. We uh, we've got dates tentatively looking at early October, uh, so there's less conflicts as because um, this year when I picked the dates for. World Bear Weekend. I called the hotel and said, "Hey, give me the, give me the best weekend rate that you have available before your pool closes." And I didn't really think to look around at what else was going on. And we've got convergence, uh, it just, I guess that's how you say that. Convergence, convergence in Spain. Um, oh. There's southern decadence. All that's going on like a week after. So. Um, yeah. That has impacted attendance because a lot of folks I talk to, they're like. We'd love to come to World Bear, but we're going to Spain, or we're going to New York City, or we're going to New Orleans. So mm-hmm. we're not going to be able to make it, but maybe next year. So yeah, I want to, I want to head that off and try to find a date that's not as conflicting for next year. Mm-hmm. Cool. So Adam, do you think by doing this event, you're kind of moving the community in a direction as far as like? more individuals welcome, so to speak, under the umbrella? Yeah, of being I really involved. so. I mean, I'm not making it to where I want to make anyone feel uncomfortable in any way because I know a lot of guys, you know, just to put it bluntly, they don't, they don't feel comfortable when there's women in the crowd. Um, mm-hmm. And I hear that, but I, I keep reinforcing the fact that, um, you know, they're just as big a part of the community as we are. And if any of you attended NAB this February, we had several ladies in attendance, and it was awesome. I mean, these ladies do a lot for the community, and I think it's time in today's day and age that we start recognizing uh, the women and the transgender and everybody in the community more, you know, as part of the bear community. So mm-hmm. that's that's my goal. Well, and I think the, there's going to be balance. I think there will still be bear events that are specifically slated and and stated as male only as a space if that's important for for them and for the attendees. And then there's also opportunities to go where it would be more integrated as far as who's attending. Can y'all talk amongst yourselves for like one minute? Sure, Sure. just put us on mute when you step away. So... um, one of the things I wanted to, to talk about in terms of what they're doing with World Bear Weekend is I know that um, Adam's got a series of sponsors that are involved with the, the run this year. Specifically, one of them happens to be Wolf Striker Leather, who uh, Damien, you and I are familiar with. Um, so Wolf Striker is based out of the Philly area and has been providing custom leather work for the past couple of years to uh, different runs, different items that are taking place uh, around the country. And I think they're mostly done everything here in the U.S., but I could be wrong about that. Um, so they're actually helping make like the vests and the uh, other items that are uh, used at some of the different events that we've got going on. So I'm mm-hmm. hoping for Mason and Todd that they have a really good, uh, yeah. you know, turn out in terms of what it is that they're doing as being a sponsor of the event. Um, I wanted to go back to the live chat and ask, answer a couple of questions that we had scrolling up in there. Um, Wolfie was asking, uh, what's the biggest bear event in America? Is it NAB? So it was funny because I was just discussing this yesterday, as a matter of fact, uh, with someone we were talking about relative size of bear events and how TBRU is probably the largest bear run uh, currently in the United States down in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Uh Uh, They have been in the process of trying to consolidate because they've spent, I don't know how many years being spread across multiple hotels. And this year they are, was it a year ago? I believe they got themselves into a multi-year contract to try to move into one centralized facility. Uh So... I believe 2019 or 2020 is when they actually will be able to move the date, I believe, back to March, when uh, mm. TBRU used to be held, because right now it's currently in May. 
And if anybody has any information on it, please, by all means, reach out to us or let me know privately so I can get the record straight on that. But I okay. believe that's the largest one currently in the U.S. Yeah. Now, in terms of attendance and population of a bear event that isn't a run, I would probably say that Bear Week in P-Town oh, is, yeah. like, one of the um, biggest, like, kind of things. And that one takes place over about, I think, 10 days, maybe? A week or so. Yeah. yeah. So, um, NAB, as Sprinkle Bear was pointing out in the live chat, had over a thousand attendees this past uh, February. So it's probably now the second largest <laughs> in terms of bear runs that we have in the country, uh, which is great. And I'm glad that, you know, Adam's been successful with that. Speaking of. I'm glad too. Whatever you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> We were uh, discussing in the live chat we have going on YouTube some of the questions that came up, and someone asked about if NAB was the largest bear run in the country, and we were saying that TBRU is, but given over the 1,000 attendees you had at um, NAB this year in February, you're probably that event is probably the second largest now as far as a, a bear run. I would say it depends on how they classify the bear event. Uh, there are some events that are bigger. Mm -hmm. uh, supposedly, like um, IBC, they they boast numbers that are thousands. But when you're looking at uh, the events that go on, um, an event like uh, TBRU and NAB, uh, we're probably the second largest. Mm -hmm. I think TBRU had maybe what 1,300. I wanna, I don't wanna speak those numbers factually, but right. I think that's where they were this last year. Um, we were at 1,046, I believe, in February. Cool. Uh, Chuck just let us know in the live chat that TBRU actually next year, I guess, is in March. So it's making its move back to its previous time of year. Yep. So I think so, their numbers go back for sure. So there's going to be a bunch of change going on. If TBRU moves back to March, and then you're saying potentially the new World Bear Weekend that you're working on that's coming up in two and a half weeks is going to move down to October. Uh, October. Mm -hmm. So... I feel like it's almost like musical chairs or something. It's like, everybody shuffle. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a good thing because we're shuffling to not be on the same weekends as each other or conflicting yeah. so much with each other. I think that'll help. Right. And it's also putting space between some of the larger events uh, like TBRU and NAB. Mm -hmm. Now, Bear Pride isn't around anymore, right? There's a What's that, honey? Bear Pride isn't around anymore, right? In uh, Chicago? The, the, the original Chicago Bear Pride is not around. I do believe they're doing something um, yeah, but that it's probably same weekend. Big since, since the yeah. Bear Pride. Is, is Provincetown Bear Week going on anymore? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. Provincetown happens. It actually just happened, uh, I think, a week or two ago. Oh, okay. I've been keeping track. And is that usually... That's one of the bigger ones, too, right? Yeah, yeah. They, they have about a couple thousand people that go to that. But again, that's that's one of the events that's kind of scattered throughout the city uh, at different bars, um, not yeah. necessarily at a hotel with, you know, a set agenda and different stuff each night yeah. and contests. Right. So speaking of agendas, uh, Adam, can you kind of give us a highlight as to what you guys have planned for what's going to happen at World Bear Weekend? Have I you got a legal plan? I heard. <laughs> well, wait. Let me let me say this. I heard there was a contest or two or three, maybe four. I'm not sure. There's a You're bunch of stuff right. going on. We actually were gonna have one, and we had to nix it. It was just for fun. It wasn't anything titled or anything like that. But we were gonna have a guess who's Willie contest. Uh, <laughs> we were gonna have <laughs> we were gonna have three or four guys do uh, Kelowna Willies. I don't know if you've heard of those. Oh. And um, people had to guess whose it was based on, you know, if you got to see it or touch it or whatever throughout the weekend. But ah. uh, logistically, <laughs> it just wasn't going to work <laughs> because it took a little too much time to do. So I think we just lost Damon. Is he, uh, I'm here. He's still breathing I'm over here. there. I'm here. I just think that is. Hilarious! I think that we couldn't be... find one big enough for Damon, so we had oh, to big. oh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> wow! Uh, but 
but yeah, we've got so much going on at World Bear. I'll kind of go through the highlights with you, but every day you're going to have um, an outdoor pool party from 1 to 5. You'll have an evening indoor pool party from 7 to 10.30. Uh, we've got dance parties each night. The first night's going to be a kilt and leather gear contest. I'm not kind of stop contest. Leather gear uh, dance party mm -hmm. and kilts. Uh, Friday night, the Kentucky Fried Sisters are hosting the 80s and 90s Inner Glow Dance Party. So it'll be glow paints, black lights, and 80s and 90s music. And then Saturday night, we let you get nearly naked and do the uh, jocks and underwear dance party, uh, which is always fun. Um, I'm nice. making sure there's nobody at the front desk while I'm talking about jocks and butts. <laughs> <laughs> Um, let's see. Then, uh, on each night, we're going to have a portion of the World Bear Contest. So it's not so long on Saturday evening. Uh, okay. so on Thursday night, we'll have one category. On Friday night, we'll have a category and a pop question. And then Saturday night will be the finale with the formal wear and the fetish, um, or fantasy category mm. with the awards. Um, okay. So that's one of the contests, and then we've got uh, the Kilt, Mr. Kilt International Contest that's going on Friday night. Um, so we've got, let me think, we've got 10 contestants in the Kilt Contest. We've got 14 contestants in the Bear Contest. <laughs> um, so those will all be happening from 7 o'clock on each night. And then uh, the dance parties are like 11 until 2. Um, and then during the day we've got uh, workshops and vendors and lots of silliness and stuff playing from the Kentucky Fried Sisters. And if you'll give me one second, I'll be right back. I got to answer this call. Not a problem. So I'm looking over the schedule for the weekend uh, that they've got going on. Uh, a bunch of things are sponsored. There's a Royal Bazaar of Fancy Things that's going to take place on Thursday that Wolf Striker is actually uh sponsoring they got of course cocktail parties going on cocktails during the day cocktails at the after hours uh i'm very interested in this they have yoga for bears happening mm -hmm. on thursday night so let's hear it for getting fat boys to be flexible yes <laughs> um they're gonna have food trucks uh available each night from the looks of it i think yeah thursday friday saturday nights so people can go grab a butt to eat. Oh, yoga Friday morning as well. Um, wine tasting, bingo. Holy cow. There's a, a lot. Flogging workshop, HIV testing, of course. Paddling workshop. Mm. My goodness. I'm just like... Oh, David. All right, listen to this, geeks. On Saturday in the afternoon, there is a Dungeons and Drag Nuns game. Ah! <laughs> so that apparently, interesting. they're doing something with D and D, but it's probably the uh, Kentucky Fried Sisters from the Sisters of Pretzel Indulgence that are. <laughs> wow. Well, that interesting. interesting. I didn't want to see that. Yeah. I'm very intrigued by this. Um, like oh, there's live show sort of thing where they have people play it and people are watching from the audience. Or... Oh, yeah. How are they doing that? Or is it just like a bunch of them are D&D &D or are GMing games that people are going to play? So that's, that's kind of what I'd like to know. We'll see. Yeah, we can ask Adam when he comes back if he knows more about that. They're also doing a, a boudoir style photo shoot apparently during part of the weekend. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Mm hmm. And, of course, there's going to be games. Uh, they're doing a $10,000 pyramid game. Yeah. Well, I'm saying dollar. Technically, dollar is missing. And that's probably because no one's going to win $10,000. So. <laughs> <laughs> so I think they're classic. they're not doing that part Does of it. Does it list the uh, titles that are up for the competition? Hmm? What was that, Jeff? Sorry. Did it? Does it say the titles that are up for the competition? For the yeah, yeah. Uh oh, um. If not, we can ask Adam when he comes back. Well, on Thursday night is part one, which is title wear, according to the schedule. 
And then on Friday night is part two, which is beach wear. And then I think he said part three for the finale is uh, formal wear slash fetish. Yeah. Fantasy. What those. Title? So there is Mr. World Bear, Ms. World Bear, and World Cup. And as Adam mentioned earlier, the World, Mr. World Bear is for a male only, male identified. Ms. World Bear is only for female identified, and World Cub is all identified. Correct. Which actually yeah. answers one of the questions we had in chat from Whoopi. Cool. Yeah. And then, according to the information online, each prize, each of the three title winners is going to get a thousand dollar cash prize, money, money, uh, money, reimbursable travel fund, and a complimentary hotel for the host event of 2019. Custom le made leather sash from Wool Striker Leather, as well as a leather patch. Custom made uh, full page editorial in Bear World magazine. Way to go! Um, and a photo shoot with Bearskin Underwear Company. To be used, oh, that's cute, as the face, quote unquote, <laughs> uh, <laughs> of their company for the next season. I didn't want to put the backside, but you know. <laughs> nice. Uh, photo shoot with bare t shirts to be used to promote brands, plus, oh, plus $100 in merch from their lines, and $100 store credit to Torso Menswear. I figured nice. why not throw in some man panties. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh Adam. All right, All right, so we've got a question. While you were gone, we were we were picking apart your schedule, like naming stuff off. We need to okay. know for as much as you can tell us, because you're probably not doing it. Dungeons and Drag Nuns. Games. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. So a lot of the stuff the sisters are doing, right, is so much fun. I mean, we've got so much planned. Uh, the Dungeons and Drag Nuns. It's mostly, it's like Dungeons and Dragons. They've got like a game that they do. But it's more of just a game time with uh, people that just want to go in and play board games and whatnot. So we've got a couple hours set aside for that a couple times uh -huh. throughout the weekend. Um, okay. so it's, but yeah, the Kentucky Fried Sisters will be hitting all that up with the games. So it's gotcha. more of just like a game room time. Yeah, we've, we've got that a couple times. We've got... Um, I thought that either the sisters were playing a game that people could watch, kind of like Crit Roll. Critical Role Live, which was just this past weekend at Gen Con. Um, oh, or, really? <laughs> or uh, if it was going to be like the sisters were going to DM games for people to play some dungeon. We've games. talked about different variations of things that they could do. Um, and to be honest, I don't know yet what they're going to do when it comes to some <laughs> well, of the games. They're going to surprise me. My favorite uh, part of the description you've got listed online for Dungeons and Drag Nuns is, is the KFS original recipe. Board uh, games, banter, and bitches. Nice. <laughs> Come test your skills with the craziest characters of genderqueer clown nuns and win some wonderful game-related prizes. That came nice. straight from them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Probably nice. one, of my, one, one of the things I'm looking most forward to is the... Um, uh barrel -esque bingo it's going to be fun it's a it's a strip bingo um led by the kentucky fried sisters and our reigning mr kentucky bourbon bear paul lanner uh so that'll be taking place all right uh, so i got a question yeah. so you lose clothing as you lose games you lose clothing as you win you <laughs> you're, just yeah. come, you're just gonna have to come find out they've got a unique spin on bingo Gary, it, yes the answer is limited. yes for the, <laughs> yes. Exactly. for the bingo it's limited to 60 people uh, because I'm oh. putting it in a certain spot in the hotel where um, it can't be interrupted um, by hotel staff and, and whatnot. so uh, 60 is the limit for that <laughs> Let's see. They're doing a uh, Kentucky Dirty Derby, which is going to be uh, the racing dildos on a track. And your dildo, uh, if you win, if if that horse, so to speak, wins the race, then uh, you get a prize. <laughs> so that's going to be fun. You save. So awesome. Are the dildos motorized? <laughs> oh, yes, yes. Is it like when you were in Cub Scouts and you made those derby racer things with the wheels? 
I think you're right. <laughs> I think you're right. All I know is I bought the dildos, um, and they're building the tracks for it, and it's going to be a hoot. It's going to be a hoot. Um, they're doing an event called Shenanigans on Thursday night. Uh -huh. So if you're familiar with uh, the Bearded Beauty show during NAB, this is kind of the replacement uh, for a Bearded Beauty show. Uh, it's more of a nun variety show. Uh, it will be some drag. It will be some talent, uh, for lack thereof. Uh, but it's going to be fun and crazy. And i got to step away just for one second. I'll be right back. All right. Wow. I'm reading through some of the other stuff that they're uh, that they're going to be doing. So the Dudewar photo shoot. Uh, the sisters are partnering up with Capital Pride Kentucky and Galaxy Photography to help capture some of the weekend magic. So they'll be doing bear style boudoir photos or dudewar if you've heard of them. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a first come first serve. Don't miss on the opportunity to get a sexy keepsake for yourself or for you and a friend. Portion of the proceeds uh, from this as a fundraiser are going to benefit Capital Pride Kentucky in Frankfurt. It's mm. pretty cool. And what a kawinky dink. The sisters are doing an event called No Fats, No Femmes. Huh. Uh, it says, let your hair down and your belly out. Members of the community will be talking in a workshop to create better awareness and appreciation for various body types, while also doing exercises to help bolster self-confidence. Hmm. I'm very intrigued by this exercise. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm like, like, hmm, I wonder how, how much exercise, exercise is, is truly happening. happening. Ooh, Ooh, that's, that's fun. fun. They've, They've also, also got, got something called a prep rally, rally where they're, they're going to do a workshop, workshop talking about prep. Free exposure, uh, prophylaxis, and sexual, sexual health. So it's, it's a one-on-one -on -one workshop. workshop. That's, That's pretty, pretty cool. cool. I, I like, like the, the, the stuff, stuff that they're working, working on. on. Yeah. yeah. It, it sounds, sounds like, like it's going, going to be a lot, lot of fun. fun. And, and I'm really, really, really looking, looking forward, forward to, to not, not only what they do, but what they're going to do in the future. As, as the event kind of moves, moves and grows and goes from there. Agreed. Agreed. So for, for the World, World Bear Weekend, weekend uh, they, they have, have, I believe, I believe quick, quick. seven, seven judges, judges lined up. up. Uh, Richard, Richard Jones, who's the CEO of Bear World Media, which puts out Bear World Magazine. Magazine. Judge number two, uh, Jace, I believe, the caveat. He's, he's a singer-songwriter producer. Judge, Judge number three, which is Scott Turner. He's the producer of the Mr. Illinois Bear Contest. Contest. Judge number four, Mr. James Lee, also known as Mr. International Male Leather 2018, which is awesome. You you judge, judge number five, five uh, I hope I get this right, Yukali Yukali is Ms. Leather Toronto, Toronto 2018. Judge, judge number six is Jody Koenig, CEO of Bearskin, Bearskin Underwear. Nice. And judge, judge number seven is Kenny, uh, I'm going to mispronounce his last name, I apologize, Kenny. Kenny. It's K. We Kane. Um, he, he is Mr. North, North American Bear 2018. 2018. He's Kia Wakane, I think. Okay. okay. AKA, AKA Panda, Panda as, as everyone refers to him. him so, yeah, yeah. sweet. That's, That's pretty, pretty awesome. awesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah. let's see who the, the judges are. They, they haven't, haven't announced the contestants uh, yet, yet in terms of the kill contest, contest. So I'm waiting to see. That, that might we'll have to ask Adam when he gets back if that's coming in the next uh, week, week or so. so. Uh, uh, regards, regards to that, that. but, but yeah. yeah. Um, vendors, vendors they've got, got lined up this year is Bear Ink, Bear T-shirts, uh, Bears and Other Gourds, which, uh, apparently they do artwork, Carrot Creations, Chainmail, Kilted Bros, which are from, uh, Cleveland, Ohio, not too far from me, Logical Bear, uh, Torso Menswear, Us, Soap and Body, oh, oh the, the Violet Wand, everyone's gonna get their kink on. <laughs> Yay! Uh, oh, oh, this, this is, is cute. cute. Well, well, deck, deck my halls, which, which is apparently oh. uh, December diamonds, ornaments, and more. And, and of course, uh, we'll we'll strike with leather will also be there. Yeah. Nice. We got a pretty good setup on everything. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, also, we want to let everybody know that you can, if you're interested in attending, there are still run passes available. Uh, in fact. 
August 14th at midnight going into August 15th is when the online registration gets cut off. It will uh, no longer be available for $125. You have to wait to pay at the door for 150 cash a rooms. Correct, Adam? Oh, he stepped away again. again. <laughs> I was, I was trying, trying to throw it to him because I thought he was back. back. <laughs> <laughs> it is a it is more. Yeah. yeah. Everything that we've been reading and kind of going over is available at world, uh, uh, weekend weekend com. So we can check it out. There, there he is. is. Oh, oh, sorry about fell through the tear. Oh, girl. Uh, I just have a funny question to ask. Excuse me, do y'all have baby butt cream chat cream? No. Well, I was uh, trying, trying to throw to you after, after describing, I believe, I believe it's August 14th, you should cut off your online registration for 125 bucks, and then as of August 15th, uh, that, that will, will not be available anymore, anymore and they'll just pay cash uh, or cash card. card at the door. Okay. And then it'll be 150 for, for the whole run, run for the weekend, weekend if they show up. So right, right. And there, there, there is a link on the website for day passes. We're offering, offering day passes at the door. Okay. Uh, you don't have to buy them up front. Just show up. Thursday be $40, Friday 60 uh, Saturday's 85 The reason Saturday jumps so much is because you get a really nice buffet dinner on Saturday night. Mm -hmm. uh, and then if you just can show up for like the evening activities, it's $30 any night uh, after 7 so cool. if you just are interested in coming to, you know, see the contests and do the dance parties and pool party at the evening and pay 30 bucks and you can join us. Okay, okay so, so I want to clarify for everyone, Adam, the, the day pass is actually an entire day pass. So yes, that, that includes, includes the evening as well. Correct. Yeah, okay. Okay. It's a whole day. Everything going on on the itinerary for that day is covered in the day pass. So once Tom and cool. rolls around, you're kicked out. <laughs> uh, exactly. Yeah. At 3 a.m. when the festivities end, yeah. yeah. Okay, good night. We'll see y'all tomorrow. Either you're to your hotel room, room or someone, someone else's hotel, hotel room, room get the consent, or go, go home. You, can't, yeah, you, you don't, don't have, have to go, go home, home <laughs> but you can't, can't stay here. <laughs> nice. Uh, I, I do have, have a question for you, Adam. I believe I read online that the focus this year for charity is for Rainbow, Rainbow Railroad. Is that correct? Yeah. Can, can you, you tell us more about who they are and why you selected them? Rainbow Railroad is an organization that uh, helps gay people in, in countries where they, if, 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 if you find out that they're gay, you're either going to get imprisoned, beaten, murdered. Mm -hmm. uh, there's, I forget how many countries they said that there were that were like that. But what they do is they make arrangements to get that person out of that country into a safer country uh, and kind of help them get on their feet and establish in that country. Um, the reason I chose it, I just uh, I see some of the stuff that's going on in, in various parts of the world with, with all the hate and, gosh, it's just, it's unreal. Um, I, I chat with, with a fella that lives in Morocco, Morocco over in Africa, and some, some of the stories that he tells me, just him, him I, mean, I mean, it's heartbreaking. heartbreaking. You know, right, right now he's being forced, forced to get married. He doesn't want to get married. His father comes and uh, takes, takes he'll work like, like for a month and not, not get money. money. Uh, and, and on payday, payday, his father will come take that money, leaving him nothing, uh, just wow. to work more. Um, uh, it's, it's just crazy. But, but um, mm -hmm. I, I really like the, the mission of Rainbow, Rainbow Railroad. Railroad. It's something that I wanted to do more of a global um, charity since this is World Bear Weekend. Uh, so I wanted to make it a focus that really hit home with the gay community. And it kind of gets everybody, I think. Yeah. So um, we're, we're, we're giving them the majority of the uh, money that's raised. I have selected a local charity to help out um, and then give a portion of the funds to, which is the Kentucky Fried Sisters. Um, I'm giving them a little bit of a little bit of funds um, to kind of spread their love, peace, and chicken grease. <laughs> oh, oh my, my goodness gracious. gracious. So, uh, is, there is 
there anything else, Adam, you want to talk to us about with WBW? We're trying to make sure we cover all the bases. Sorry, I'm going to skip out of this, so I'm hoping you guys have hit a lot of the highlights while I've been gone. Yeah. You can go to the website. It's got a full itinerary of everything that's going on by day, by hour. If you haven't downloaded the app app, it's also updated with the um, the full itinerary with a list of the sponsors, the vendors. It's got maps. Um, you know, it's, it's a really helpful tool uh, because I hate paper, and I'm trying to do away with a lot of the paper uh, that's given out at this. Just because it's, well, well I mean, they have an environment for one, but it's also expensive to print all that stuff. So I'm trying to uh, cut, cut down on expenses and make it easier on people. people. I mean, who wants to carry around a bunch of stuff when, when most, most people, people have their phone in their hands glued to it anyway throughout the weekend? weekend. So yeah. um, if, if you, you want to download the Yap app, app, the uh, code is World Bear. Bear. It's very simple. Uh, just download it last year for the root code or whatever it's called. It's just like the World Bear. But pretty, pretty much, much the highlights, highlights if you can, can uh, get, get registered by midnight on August 14th. If you can't, come, come on over. We'll be ready for you on the 23rd. Registration, registration opens at noon. No, no one, one that day. day. Um, there, there won't be any more VIP passes available or excursions available um, at, at check-in. In. So okay. I think, I think all, all the VIP passes, passes are actually sold out, out but uh, we, we may have a few like on-site wine tastings and uh, the bourbon tour still up for grabs if you want to register for them. Cool. Um, some of the stuff that hasn't been mentioned a lot on, we're doing a uh, cigar social again uh, at Bar Complex, which is one of our large bars in town. It'll be Saturday afternoon. We'll bust you over there. Um, I think Nikki, one of our Nikki Wireman, one of our contestants, is going to be leading kind of a little info session over there. Just smoking and drinking drink some bourbon. <laughs> and uh, let's see what else we're, we're calling some folks to the bars in the evenings. Um, we're, we're talking about adding some activities maybe on Sunday. That was just a recent conversation as of this morning. Um, Maybe, maybe do a beer, beer bus or uh, hot dog wieners and buns or something uh, on, on Sunday at the Bear Bar and right. some beer. Um, let, let, me, let, let me get your opinion on something. This is going to be fun. I, uh, one, one of the guys, guys Mason, with Little Striker, Striker Leather, we, we were, were talking recently about like when, when they, they were down, down in Florida, Florida, one of the events that they did down there. Uh, had, had like a, a not, not really, really a church, church service per se, but, but like some type of inspirational, uplifting gathering, if you will, uh, on Sunday, Sunday morning. Uh, since it was, uh, you know, so, so close, close to being the Pulse Club, club shooting down there. Mm-hmm. Uh, so he, he, he had suggested, suggested, he said, what do you think about doing some kind of a service on Sunday morning? Just Something, Something uplifting, not, not real churchy or, you know, know Bible thumping, but, you know, know and, and I, I said, I don't, don't know if it'd be well attended. I was like, but let me think, think it over. So, so I've, I've had something to schedule for, for Sunday. It's, it's going to be called Hell in a Handbasket Gospel Jubilee. <laughs> um, and, and what, what it is, is, there's a drag queen here in Lexington. Lexington. That, that does this uh, show called Dragon for Jesus a couple times a year. And she gets two or three of her friends, uh, drag queens, to uh, do songs, like churchy songs, in drag. And uh, then it has a little inspirational, uplifting uh, few words there towards the end. So that's going to be going on on Sunday morning. So it's going to be, I, there's something for everybody, the whole event. Yeah. It's going to be fun. So, so Sunday morning, 10.30 till 11.30, uh, check, check that out. You'll be there in the ballroom. Hell in the Ambassador's Gospel Jubilee. Nice. nice. Not something well, yeah. I'm going to attend, but uh, it's something that hey. some people might be interested in. So. I hope so. so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I hope it's a good turnout. Because turn it's, it's, it's really, really fun. fun. It is fun. Anybody, Anybody that ever went to church, church they're, they're going to love the music and... 
get a kick out of the performers for sure because they're very they're nice. So you, so you got, got all sorts of tricks, tricks up your sleeve from the sounds of it, Adam. I do. You know, a lot of people think it's going to be just a copycat of Mab. Uh, it's really not. There, there's going to be some similarities as far as the, the basics, you know, like uh, pool parties and workshops and whatnot. But we we've tried, tried to really make it something different and make it really feel like you're coming to something that's different and, and fun. So... We've, we've got, got lots of elements, we've got the kilts, we've, we've got the World Bear Contest, we've got, got the sisters, sisters that are doing so much stuff, um, and just throwing lots of new fun ideas, ideas out there. Hmm. So, so given, given how involved, involved the sisters are going to be, Adam, if I'm correct, you're not currently a member of the KFS, KFS correct? correct? Correct. Are you thinking, thinking you're going to be recruited, made, made an honorary sister, or...? <laughs> Victor, <laughs> uh, my hubby, is uh, joining the sisters. Oh. His, his, his sister, sister name is going to be Bill the Ball. Oh, oh no! <laughs> so, so you'll see him in face that, that weekend doing all kinds of crazy stuff with the sisters. Um, yeah. <laughs> I, don't I don't know, know. I've, I've got, got a little bit on my plate with uh, the Burberry Bears and the Nab and the Bear and Torso and my day job, so... Maybe, Maybe I'll just sit on the sidelines and enjoy the show. show. Nice. Hmm. Well, well, I, I wouldn't, wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they made you an honorary uh, sister, sister somehow or, or part of the, the, the greater family. family for, you know, I'll paint my face, however. I'll paint the old chicken, chicken leg on my cheek. <laughs> <laughs> nice. nice. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're uh, you, you kind, kind of really put yourself out there at your events and don't hold back, so. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I know, know you know. Uh, that's, that's where you and I differ. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of like, some things don't need to be so public, so, so to speak. Well, you but, talk about my plum story, so... That, <laughs> I'm just leaving it at that. that. You, you had, had, had to be there, there to hear it. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Leave it there. Awesome. So, well, well, we, we appreciate the time that you took to pop in and out with us tonight, Adam, Adam even with the delayed start uh, and the tech, tech stuff. So uh, hopefully you'll have a great, successful weekend uh, for WDW, and we look forward to hearing all sorts of fun things about it and reading about how much money we raise for the charity and how all that works for folks that are going to be attending that weekend. I think it's, it's going to be a great turnout for the first year. We're already about 327 registered and i'm expecting to hit you know close to 400 with walk-ins um uh, which you know for the first time that is awesome so yeah I'm, I'm yeah super, super excited good, good. Well, well, we don't, don't want to keep you from your other, other job and get into trouble, trouble with your boss so, so this is me here now <laughs> <laughs> Um, is, is there, there anything you want folks, folks to know in ways? Uh, we kind of ran over it before, but just uh, getting in touch with you. Obviously, they can go to worldbearweekend.com. If they have a question for you, I believe you answer the email, which is worldbearweekend at gmail.com, right? Correct, yeah. Awesome. Uh, and as you mentioned, there's the app. They can go uh, put in worldbear as the code. And we don't want to forget your other business, of course. They can go to torsomenswear.com. We'll trade that to give them if, if they, they want, want to get, get themselves some, some, some undies. And, you know, if you don't have time to do it before the event, there will be a Torso Menswear booth on site in the, uh, as, as we're calling it, the Royal Bazaar of Fancy Things, which, which is our vendor market. One of our sponsors, um, one of the, he sponsored so much that he got to get naming rights for one of the events, and he wanted to call it the Royal Bazaar of Fancy Things. So, nice. Bye, we'll strike another. Ah, great. So, you can, you can check, check it out in the bazaar. <laughs> nice. Oh. Well, well, we'll see what happens. happens. Uh, we, we know, know that Chester and Dane are doing your photography for the weekend, so we look forward to seeing some awesome uh, images captured from WBW in a couple weekends from now. Yeah, no, that'll be great. So, so great. great. Yeah. Well, well, we're, we're wrapping, wrapping here. here. Uh, we got some other things we're going to take care of, but we don't want to keep you. So 
Uh, hopefully, hopefully the, the rest, rest of, of your day, day is less uh, dramatic, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, right? It's, it's been a crazy, crazy one. But yeah. yeah. Hopefully, hopefully I'm on the downhill slot. slot you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thanks we, for having me, guys. It's, it's been, been fun. fun. Sure. sure. We look forward, forward to talking, talking to you again soon. soon. And uh, we'll, we'll have, have you back on. We'll talk about NAB for February next year. Cool. Sounds good. Awesome. Have a good night, Adam. All right. You too. <laughs> hey. Well, because he was on his cell phone, he couldn't see these links. Uh, so uh, we thought it would just be boring. So we're going to go right into this. What did I have? Oh, um, ear drying. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I have, I have seen, seen this picture. picture. I'm pretty, pretty sure I've reblogged this picture. picture. Oh, um, quite possibly. Uh, so we got Leo yeah. Bear. Yep. Um, has just finished post yard work and uh, took a post shower, and is now lying on the bed, uh, air drying. Mm -hmm. That is an invitation. <laughs> he will not be dry for long. <laughs> <laughs> Probably going to have to take a shower again. Yeah. Let's, Let's see if he's just, just. Oh, that's. Oh, sorry. sorry. Like, like the, the fresh, fresh shower, like even though there's, there's still maybe a little, little bit, bit of mud. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Damon, your pick for. <laughs> I'm still. <laughs> still enjoying this one. Yeah, yeah I'm still enjoying that one. Yeah. Okay. okay. Sorry. Um, mine is I titled Just Peachy. Um, um, it's a, speaking of guys laying in bed, um, there's this guy, um, sexy, um, furry, um, docked um, with his, um, laying on his belly. So we get a nice look of his wonderful peachy butt. And the reason I call it peachy is because it's got a peach, the peach emoji there. So. Yep. Yep. Which, Which I find interesting because we usually, like, like I, don't I don't know how many, many well, maybe it's outside the gay community. I'm like, like who really refers to an ass as a peach? I mean, <laughs> like, like, I get that it can be juicy, but I'm like, like don't we usually call, call it cakes? cakes? Like, like, wouldn't that make sense? a song called Peach? No, 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 no. Peach. Uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, there, is, there is a, trust me, there's, I'm from Minneapolis. Uh, <laughs> uh, he has a song called Peach. She yeah. Peach. Well, anyway. Sexy, sexy, thick thigh, thick, thick, thick butted, thick, thick belly, you know, very, very, very sexy, sexy, thick, thick uh, fur. Yep. Um, yeah. yeah. And it's, just, it's, it's a very, very, it's a very good, good picture. picture so. Yep. 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 Very nice. Check. 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 Gary. All right, so, so I called mine Swoon. Um, actually, actually, I should call it Dr. Swoon. Uh, so uh, this gentleman who is from St. Louis, as a matter of fact, um, is a beautiful man, and I follow him slash stalk him on Tumblr. Um, and he uh, did cosplay as Dr. Strange. And um, yeah. And he's... Uh, actually, actually, a bartender, bartender in the St. Louis area. I don't know exactly what bar he works at, but um, I should. I'll, I'll find that out if I ever get to St. Louis. Um, <laughs> so check this out. So, so this is actually from, from a couple years ago, ago but I believe uh, his mother made the jacket for him. Uh, uh, the the, the Kate jacket, jacket wrap type, type deal. So, nice. but yeah. So, so he's, he's wearing, wearing kind of like a. a what, what I, I want to call, call pirate style, style shirt with uh, a double belt, belt and loose hands, hands black, black boots. I don't, I don't care that he has guy liner on. Um, he's he's a long guy liner. Yeah. 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 Um, That's a very good, good picture. I love, I love the, the coat. coat. Or, I think, like, well, cape coat, cape, cape, cape whatever you want to call it. It's very nice. It's a very nice, a very nice, nice look. look. 
Okay. Uh, uh, so check out uh, the live chat says that is Jason. He did bartend at JJ's, and then apparently he moved from St. Louis. Uh, so. so. Oh, well. Hmm. Nice. Huh. So, so, yeah. Anyways, anyways so it's, it's a great picture, picture. And if you click it, it actually goes to his Instagram. So you can follow him on Instagram if you want. Thanks. Hmm. I love that this is a tattoo work. He's, He's got, got like half a part of That's fun. Yeah. Because every yeah. time we go to these, we also like click on his name. So we go to his full Tumblr and see. Of his course. Yeah. Let's get the guy out more. Uh huh. And apparently, like he probably would have been better in, as a Thor. And now yeah. Tubbs is thinking about imagining Thor porn again. Sounds, sounds fun. Anyway, moving into the links. So, of course, I've been on a Pokemon bender. Uh, but I also found this video on YouTube, which is basically the Pokemon timeline from dealing more with the games. Okay. Uh, timeline from uh, beginning to Sun and Moon. Not Sun and Ultra, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, but to sun and moon mm. and it's this really neat video which kind of discusses the entire timeline so i don't think they even talk about ash ketchum at all just right in blue which if you watched uh generate uh, uh pokemon origins that's where they're getting all that information part of that mm. information from so but it's dealing with the more along the game chronology and myths so i thought it was really cool it's like a half an hour long and has a couple of different people there's i think he's australian and but and it's not just because he always says Z instead of z but <clears throat> still and that's my link nice there's, Huh. Damon. So, um, a friend of mine posted this article, um, and it is essentially a guide to theater etiquette the New York way. Um, and it is a very, I don't, I won't say tug and see because it's very blunt, um, article in regards to, um, theater etiquette. Basically, sit down, shut up. Watch the show, clap, applaud, etc. So I like it. Um, as someone who has been to the theater shows and been to um, and had to deal with some of this every once in a while, especially like the bigger, like touring Broadway shows that are coming here, for example, it kind of gets annoying having to deal with some of the stuff that goes on. Um, you know. The, the eating and drinking one that's mentioned on this is one of the big ones for me. Um, and also, like, the, the other one is to turn off your, your phone. Like, I, I don't get why you think your phone is somehow different than everyone else's phone, and it won't be annoying or aggravating to everyone else around you. Yeah. Well, obviously, if you really need if you may have an emergency or the babysitter, you know, put it on silent, make sure it's on vibrate and keep it in your pocket. If it vibrates, <laughs> sneak out of the theater and respond to the call there. But so there is reasons to technically keep it on, but you know, make sure it's <laughs> yeah. not sound. You keep it in your pocket until you're out of the theater, by the way. So if it's vibrating, yeah. you really need to check it. Yeah. yeah. Get the fuck out of yeah. the theater. It's yeah. fine. People understand. You're not insulting the, the performers on stage if you need to take a call because there's probably a val perfectly valid reason. So, it's fine. Yeah. There are a few other things mentioned, mentioned but those, those are sort of the big ones. ones. And all the other one, the big one, the other, the only the biggest one to me is actually don't go if you're sick. Pardon me, people. My Skype crashed. Hold on. 
Like, and don't come and spread all that shit to everyone else around you. Like, I don't need to get sick just because I'm going, you know. Anyway, so it's just, that's one of my big ones. My other big ones is like. Okay. Could you repeat so, that? My uh, call crashed. Oh. <laughs> that, was, that was me. That wasn't you. That was me. Oh. Uh, By the way, okay. I'm on a preview version of Skype. So these things may mm-hmm. happen. We apologize to our audience. Or I apologize to the audience. Ah, oh yeah. But just so. the, the big one for me, I think it's like being, if you're sick, um, like there's no reason for you to come to the theater sick. I'm, I'm healthy. I'm fine. Like, please don't give you, spread your shit to me. Like, please God don't. Um, I understand you spent money on tickets, but most of the time, theaters can move tickets, can exchange your tickets, can do something else or offer a refund if necessary, if that's something they can do. There's always an option. So don't come when you're sick, ever. (sighs) Yeah. There's that. There's that. Yeah. Gary. (laughs) <laughs> i'm like now that now that damon put the hammer down um so my pick uh actually is for uh nakia for those of you that don't know nakia is a uh artist who does uh blues style music and he is in austin texas um with his a, husband a friend of mine kind of and i haven't seen him in yeah. a long time but Still. He's associated with Jeff. Uh, Jeff knows him from a long time ago, and he was actually on the American uh, TV show The Voice. And Nakia has his album called Blues Grifter that's coming out. And so this is a cute little video. Um, he's promoting that on Wednesday, August 15th, uh, you can join him for Sweet Tea at Threadgills, uh, the entertainment establishment in Austin, Texas. Um, where he's going to, if you go, you can get, um, uh, I'm trying to read the, the deal. There's a dinner for one option available ice. You get an iced tea an autographed, uh, blues grifter CD and a real live blues exclusive pre-order CD with six songs recorded live in Austin. Ooh. Um, so, uh, of course there's disclaimers. You have to be in Austin, Texas, uh, when the event takes place. It's scheduled for Wednesday, August 15th from 6 to 8. Transportation not included. Uh, dinner must be ordered from the special event menu. And make sure you tip your server. But it's a it's a real cute, like, short uh, spot. And it's funny because they even include the bloopers. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Wanted to make sure I give uh, Nikki a shout out for his long-awaited album that's uh, being released. So, yeah. Yeah, I can't wait. I have, uh, I think, all of his other albums already, too. And uh, I'm sure they'll probably end up being on services eventually. So, Mm. yeah, for that. Uh, So, guess what, folks? Um, Pardon the technical difficulties. I'm working with the new Skype and the new changes to to Skype. So, I'm working with a preview version. So, my Skype crashed. (laughs) The Skype call crashed for me, and now everybody's seeing a freezed version of everything. But at least you, they can hear you. So that was the important part. So there's um, so one one of the things you can do to help me get a new computer to see if that helps helps uh, fix this is to uh, subscribe to our Patreon or uh, shop at zazzle.com slash Cubs Out Loud or zazzle.co.uk slash cups out loud or uh, I don't know what the other ones are but um, it, remember if you're in a different country you can still shop at Zazzle in your country just by going down to the bottom of the Zazzle store page uh, um, and uh, just finding the appropriate main domain uh, for your Zazzle store. So if you go to Zazzle.com, it'll either redirect you to their particular site or there's a drop down which you can select your country and language in some of the countries. Um, and that will take you to the, that Zazzle site and then just do slash Cubs Out Loud after whatever that is. So, huh. so like for Australia, it's Zazzle.com.au slash 
comes out hmm. loud. So that's that's a way to shop for comes out loud stuff if you're not in the United States. And I think it's like um, Zazzle.ca for Canada. So and there's a French version too if you need that. But different ways. And of course, subscribe to our Patreon. Uh, plenty of ways, other ways to contact us. You can pop over to our website, comesoutloud.com. Shoot us an email at comesoutloud at gmail.com. Leave us a voicemail on Sexy or Otherwise. It's 361 COL Talk. That's 361 265 8255. Uh, also, another way to send us a voicemail is to like use the voice memo app on your phone and then just send it to us by email at comesoutloud at gmail.com. That works. Um, you can find us uh, on social media outlets and Instagram, Facebook, Tumblr, Twitter, Google Plus, and of course right here on YouTube at Cubs Out Loud in the appropriate place of the URL. You can join us in our COL entourage chat at tinyurl.com slash telegram dash COL. Um, you can uh, give us, rate us on iTunes, subscribe to us at Google Play Podcast, and give us a thumbs up on Stitcher Radio. Find me anywhere on the internet. It says box at box, cubby box, cub, box, something or other. Uh, I am Theater Cup 79 on Brand of Ground, Tumblr. Oh, no, it's not Brand of Ground. Son of a bitch. Bear Sites, etc. Or you can find me as Pup underscore Umbra on Twitter. <laughs> and when I'm not frozen still because of a Skype issue looking like a statue <laughs> for you fuckers out there in live chat who are making fun of me, apparently, with my eye rolls that sound like a shade fan opening. <laughs> <laughs> I think I can't read that shit. Uh, <laughs> you can find me pretty much anywhere online as Gerber73. That's G-A-R-B-E-A-R-7-3. And it, remember, if you want the naughty stuff on Tumblr, you have to put three X's after the end of that to find uh, that version of Tumblr for me. And with that, say good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Have a good one, y'all. So <laughs> this will be, I guess, well. what the the new Skype stuff. Yeah. So I was going to say, I'm like, uh, I guess this won't necessarily be for the patrons or whatever, but okay. long story short, um, thanks Skype for holding out almost till the end of the freaking call before you decided to crap out on us. Uh, on me, you guys were still on the call. Well, yeah. Which then reset so, the whole NDI thing, which sent the video to OBS so that we could show your faces. But yeah, at least it gave me a, uh, OBS just kept a freeze frame up there, so at least they could see something. Yeah, yeah. you're going like yeah, uh, no, no, and and yeah, that, that's yeah, so much fun. Yeah, it's um, fine. It's it's fine. It's working it's not ideal just so that the audiences that happen to hear this or catch on um so skype basically said as of september 1st they weren't going to honor their older version anymore so we were forced to migrate and move ahead and jeff's been like working through that issue including us using a beta version and the beta is what uh, crashed yay <laughs> i mean for for the most part it was working out really well i haven't dropped any frames uh, yeah. It was nice because I could like move you around individually. There's a lots of. I'm really excited about this version of Skype. It's just Good. because they haven't fully finished everything, um, and mm -hmm. to make it like fully stable, I have to use. I had to get into the Insider program and then be able to download the uh, preview version of of Skype in order to get this one feature that they're rolling out that they announced couple months ago that they were going to roll out and actually the feature is great 
I, it's perfect. It's just. Yeah. The only thing I think from tonight that we kind of learned, which we've known this before, but Adam coming on was, I mean, it was really tonight was all about how things fell together. Um, He was supposed to obviously be at home and it would have been better for us. And I think the audio quality issue that we were really facing was um, we were just getting a loop feedback because he had no earbuds or a headset um, Mm -hmm. for his phone at work. So um, I wasn't hearing any of that. So, well, we, we couldn't, what I kept doing during the show, just so everybody knows I was muting my mic and then while I watch it live for the live chat, I was going off mute on my iPad and upping the volume so I could hear what the live chat was complaining about. Cause they're like, Oh my God, this echo is insane. And I'm like, I'm like, well, we can't hear the echo. So then I figured it out. I was like, Oh, I have a funny feeling. It's, it almost sounds kind of like a, where there's an open mic line and you mm. don't know about it. And I figure whenever Adam was there with his phone and or talking, it completely eliminated because then his mic is focused on, him yeah but if he's not there and he steps away because he was at work then unfortunately i don't think he was uh muting so that caused this that it would just pick up whatever was coming through the yeah. speaker. so this is called what an amateur podcast does so <laughs> it's fine we're doing yeah. the best that we can with yeah. that so um hopefully we'll get uh things we'll keep right. uh testing and working on it cool. uh, well, uh, I want to thank everybody for their time on this, and uh, thank you for watching, and I'm going to stop streaming in like 10, 20 seconds. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Thanks for checking it out tonight, guys. Mm-hmm.